All right, what's up, y'all? It's Tig Knight, No Cap Rap News. Uh, gonna get right into it today, man. Today we going into Instagram. Check out your boy DJ Academics page again. He did something I found pretty interesting, man. He did a uh, top ten rappers list. Here we go. Let's see. All right, boom. So Academics made up his own list, right? He says, uh, let me see if we get the heads. All right, bam. He said, forget what Billboard talking about. Here is my list of the top 10 rappers based on bars, songs, not culturally influenced or artistry. So no Kanye, no Tupac. Hmm, okay, so he got number one, Drake. Number two, Nas. Number three, Jay-Z. Four, Lil Wayne. Five, Biggie. Six, Eminem. Seven Kendrick, eight Andre, three thousand nine Rakim, ten Jada Kiss. All right, well, salute to Act for his list, man. Um, first off, this was my list. Wait, wait, let's discuss his list first. Okay, I can understand. I know why he got Drake number one. Drake is boy. You know what I'm saying? Drake can't do no wrong in his eyes. So Drake is boy. I understand that. Nas, I'm shocked to see Nas there. Because, you know, academics, he normally don't care about lyrics. He more into the vibes of the beat and, you know, shit like that. So, I'm surprised that Nas, I'm surprised, actually surprised at this whole list because these are lyricists. So, it proves that he know what's going on with the culture, but it also proves that he know what's going on with the internet, too. You see what I'm saying? He'll wear both of them. So, that's his thing. But, uh, let's start with Drake. Number one, Drake. Um, Drake is dope, bro. He ain't my top, top favorite. He is in this list. Number one, I don't know about number one, though. I wouldn't put him number one. Uh, right now, let's say on my list, Drake might be four or five. I'll give him four or five. All right, number two, you got Nas. Nas. He just dropped a new um, album. He's been on the streets lately with Hit Boy. They've been dropping a lot of dope albums, man. Uh, King Disease, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Magic. So Nas been been dropping heat lately. I can't front. Uh, as far as number two, I would say he'll be in my three or four. We going current time, current time only. Uh, i say the last 10 years. He'll be in three or four, because now I'm still the goat in, in my one of the goats. So uh, let's go to number three, Jay-Z. All right, with well, Jay-Z, the last thing I heard from him was, uh, what's that? 444 was the last solo album. He was on the Jay Electronica project. That was dope. Uh, and then he had the verse on Khaled. Uh, number three, number three for Jay-Z. Right now, I would have to move Jay down. He's a, he's the man for real though. Um, for his rapping, he said bars and songs, not cultural influence. Uh, let's leave Jay way in right now. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne birthed all these cats, man. Lil Wayne, in my opinion, is the greatest rapper alive. Because um, people, people discredit that run he had, man. And the only reason he slid back a little bit is because his trouble he was going through with Bird, man, in my opinion. If none of this stuff hadn't happened, Wayne would still be number one. So in my opinion, I'm going to move Wayne to number one. Uh, Biggie. Biggie is my favorite rapper of all time. Just flow and cadence and style-wise and subject matter and storytelling and technical skills. He, he he check all the boxes, bro. So I would put Biggie Damn. I don't know if this is greatest list of all time or greatest list of right now. It can't be right now, so all time I'll move Biggie to number two. Alright, Eminem. I get why Eminem people pick Eminem. He ain't in my list at all though, bro. Not my list. 
I, uh, and he can rap. Uh, I get that he can rap, no doubt about it. But there's so many more I can put instead of Eminem on this list, bro. Uh, Eminem not even on the list. Number seven, we got Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Kendrick is dope, man. Um, I liked everything Kendrick. Kendrick is a true rap artist, my nigga. Uh, he's not just uh, chasing the money, you know what I mean? He can get the money, but. He take this rap shit serious, and that's what it's about, bro. It's about moving the culture forward and, and really being, you know, instrumental in it. Uh, I'm going to move Kendrick to number three. Andre 3000. Andre, my boy, he the dopest, one of the dopest from the South. Uh, one of the dopest in the Dungeon Family Click. Um, what I would do, though, Andre dropped some dope verses. He got one project out that's solo, and this he mostly singing on that shit. So uh, I might, I might have to leave Andre where he at, bro. For real, Rakim, Rakim set it off. He changed the whole style of this rap shit. He advanced this shit to a whole new level, and he was dope. Uh, as far as other Matrix. He the God MC, man. I got a ranking high. I can't rank it low. So I would move him to. Let's go number four. Let's go number four with Rakim. Uh, Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss is dope. Jada Kiss is one of the best guest verses ever. Best feature man ever. Never a whack feature with Jada Kiss. Um, hmm. Jada Kiss. Let's. Uh, Respect to Jadakiss. Let's move. Let's give Jadakiss like a number seven. Let's give Jadakiss number seven, bro. So uh, there you have it. I can't remember what I just said, but that's how I think of it, on it. Um, but again, this was academic list. I just thought it was interesting, so I wanted to break it down for a minute. See what y'all thought about it. Um, that's it, man. This your boy, Young Tig, leader of the city, Michael Knight off Pike. Aka at T Ignite, like, share, subscribe, comment, follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and um, Twitch. All right, we out. No cap rap news. One.